bullshit stealing from the gliders, basically. You already know that. Liquworks employee is in the hospital after being shot while on the job in a southwest Baltimore neighborhood. WJZ on your corner in Edmondson Village tonight. Stefan Dingle with the latest on really a troubling incident. Stefan. Hey, Denise, good evening to you. Troubling is the perfect way to describe this. Uh, this shooting happened here in the 800 block of Allendale Street just before 11 this morning in an alley uh, just nearby me here. Now, uh, when uh, authorities say this all happened while that man was on the job, as you mentioned, but the big get here is is the, her the heroism of his colleagues who, after the man was shot, they picked him up, loaded him in the truck vehicle, and took him to a nearby hospital. A shooting that happened in 800 Allendale we were getting our DPW worker might have been shot. Just before 11 o'clock Friday morning, Baltimore police say an unidentified suspect pulled up in a car and attempted to rob a city worker with the Department of Public Works. That's this was a robbery. This wasn't just like, oh, there go that nigga I got beef with. It was like, yo, they were trying to rob the dudes on the back of a trash truck. They just can't help it. Yeah, like, they just, just can't help themselves, man. Like it's just, it just is what it is. Suspect pulled up in a car and attempted to rob a city worker with the Department of Public Works. That suspect struck a 42-year-old DPW worker in the torso. That's when police say the victim's colleagues loaded him into the city work vehicle and transported the man to a local hospital where he is listed in stable condition. As investigators canvassed the scene, many DPW workers showed up grappling with their own grief about what happened. There are elements here that we just can't seem to get control of. <laughs> Meanwhile, just see from where the shit <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. That was a That's one system. way to put it. Yeah, exactly, man. God. Oh. No solution. Uh, is here that we just can't seem to get control of. Meanwhile, just feet from where the shooting happened, WJZ talked to a homeowner who did not want to be identified, and she said she's not surprised as a shooting happened in this block just two weeks ago. It's like post-traumatic stress disorder. When you live in a community for so long and you see the same things over and over, you become less, you don't become fearful. You become a strong person. You you know that you can live in this war zone. Reaction pouring in from the city workers union. They say in part, we are deeply troubled by this and are praying our union brother makes a full recovery. Everyone deserves to feel safe at work and we're keeping him in our prayers, end quote. Mayor Brandon Scott also chiming in saying in part, rest assured we will do everything in our power to track down those responsible and hold them accountable. Now, again, that victim, as I mentioned, is in stable condi condition tonight after being shot in the torso. Police ask if you know anything or if you saw anything to please call investigators. We're live on your corner at six tonight in Emerson Village. Dang.